Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome. I am Dr. Nick Nickham. We are delighted you could join us. So, we are going to see how to download and install Active Inspire for school presentations. To do that, uh, let us go to Google here and type download Active Inspire for Mac. You click that one, it will bring you here Active Inspire Promethean Planet. Let it load and you are going to be using US English version for installing that in America. And it will bring you to this particular screen where you can download. However, if you are doing this for the first time, if you are doing it for the first time, it will ask you to register. So, since I have already registered, it knows that I am one of the registered users. So, it is not, it is asking me if I want to log out. Uh, okay, why not? We, I do not want to log out now because uh, once you register, I, I, a few tips about registering this online. You make sure you complete all the options given there uh, so that uh, you do not have to be going back and forth. Once you have completed all the registration, it will ask you for your desired name and password. You enter that then it will bring you to this particular screen. Then you click on download, which I have already done. So, I do not need to do that. So, let us go to our download folder here and see how the package looks. This is how it comes back as Active Inspire version 2.4.6 da 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 uh, uh, and the image. Then you kick, click on Active Inspire. When you do that, it will prompt you to see if you want to load this program. Uh, there may be a little snag here. If your system is uh, set up to accept only Apple or Mac apps, then it will not allow you to load this particular program. If that is the case, you have to go to Apple and you have to go to System Preferences. Let us cancel this for right now. You have to go to Apple, System Preferences, then go to Security and make sure that you are able to allow apps downloaded from any site to be loaded onto the computer. So, since I have done that, it will allow me to load this package or upload it. And if I say continue, yeah, it is going to go through the whole motion. Uh, and install the program. Since I have already installed this program, it is telling me that it cannot install a second version, a second copy. And so, once you have installed and everything is ready to go, then you can go to applications and look under uh, the folder Promethean and go to active software inspire then you click on inspire. It is going to take a few seconds and load up the program. In my case, it may already be loaded here. Let me see. Okay, a version was already open. So, now it expands the version that was already there. If you really want to know, let us exit this uh, quit active inspire and let us go back to the finder. So let us go back to the finder and look under finder a file we go to promethean and then active inspire and then click on inspire if you click on inspire it's going to open up a new version of uh, active inspire you can see it's loading the active inspire promethean software I think it has installed. Okay, it has installed. So we can go and open a flip chart that I have already created to give you an idea is how this file system works here in Active Inspire. Uh, here's here are all my documents, and I created one for Active Inspire 
folder that was done today 550 open up an existing folder which I have already created because this, this will take you to documents and under documents I created Nick's first flip chart. We bring up the flip chart and close this window. As I said I have two windows, two slides here and we can have as many slides and rearrange them if we want to. In the first slide it says it gives a simple math program and if you want to kind of circle what the math problem is, see you can just circle okay this is your question and this is the intermediate step. After that we can either use here arrow here or you can come here and click on this and now we are going to go to page number 2. So, this is how you go from one flip chart page to the next one. If you got a 30 minute presentation you may have 30 to 40 flip chart presentations all of them will be lined up here. You arrange them in the sequence in which you want to use those and then just do your presentation. Once the presentation is done uh, by the time you finish it would be uh, already been uploaded to YouTube and that concludes our uh, session on installing Active Inspire on Mac. Thank you, I am Dr. Nick Nickham and we will see you next time.